Hello everyone, welcome again and in this demo we are going to see a Spring Boot application in a banking domain. So this is you can say bank management or some extra features are there for the credit cards and loans are so uh, this is a bank banking domain application from the technical side from the technology wise it's using Spring Boot have a net JPA and for the front end it's using JSP and HTML CSS and Bootstrap okay uh, if you want this source code and you want this project you can connect us over the whatsapp skype or mail so we'll check the sign the complete detail with you also will help you to run this project at your machine as we have a remote support and after configuration you have to follow this demo in order to run the application so uh, currently this application is running on the port number 9090 so i'm going to stop my server again and we'll show you how can you run it again so if you are going to buy this project from code one you will get the application in this condition and after that you need to follow these steps also uh, also i meant forgot to mention for the backend this uh, using mysql database and this is a db for it and here we have a user table loan credit cards accounts and account type or accounts and in the, the user table we have two types of role admin and the user as a customer so this is your runner class right click on it to in order to run right click on it go to run as run it as a java application and wait until the server is a start on a specific port number and my machine is using 9090 once that you can see this message over your console after that go to this application or property file we have created one dummy url here just copy this url open it at your chrome browser and now let's see what the features and functionality we can perform over there so this is a home page and after the home page we have a registration page and login page so if you are a new user you can register here by filling up these details first name last name email and the password so for a demonstration purpose i'm just going to enter some dummy data and i hit the registration button so user registered successfully now if i check my user table if it's a database you can see the newly added record, record over there and now let's copy the login id for admin and the password and check what login admin can do over there so i just enter the username for admin and i just logged in here as an admin and see what admin can see here so admin can account type let's suppose this can be credit card or say i am going to add a test type and type of account will be displayed here under the type list so these are the checking uh, saving current loan and any kind of uh, types you can add over there we have an option to edit the type or delete the type also so these are the options when you want to delete it you can check mark check this and click on delete it's deleted automatically account list you will see the list of accounts of the users that is that have the account and the status is open or closed okay uh, if i want to place or deactivate any account i can just check uh, this mark and click on close it will close the account of that user now you can see the status is closed <clears throat> under the credit card i can add a new credit card for a specific user or i can add i can check the credit card for the existing user also i can add it as an admin i can edit the credit card over there for the loan i can add a loan for any customer so let's suppose currently into the account list we have these accounts and these account list and this will these are showing here and for this account like this account is closed and two we have a two open account that is available here and we can uh, add a loan for this these accounts and the, the, the things will be displayed to the admin side as well so let's go to the user side and check what user can do over there so in my private window i am going to open another instance of the application and going to log in as a and user so recently we have added one user here so i'm going to use the same user so i just enter preferential for this user sign in here so what i need to do first after login after registration i need to create an account so what kind of account i want to create suppose i want to create a saving account and 
I going to enter the name of account like uh, let's suppose I'm going to add uh, what is the name of this user it's so I'm going to enter its account click on save so this account is added here and current status is open total amount is zero okay and here under the transaction we have an option as a user to deposit the amount let's suppose i want a deposit some amount it's five thousand in my account i can amount is deposited successfully now now if i go to my account section i can check the available balance is five thousand and i can withdraw some amount from that from this account let's suppose i want to withdraw 500 now if i check the account now it's the remaining balance is four five double zero next option we have transfer so i can transfer this account to any other account but no like i have only single account so i can't transfer in, in case i have any credit card or loan account i can transfer that amount over there okay so uh here uh, after the transaction module we have a credit card module so transaction by credit card so currently i don't have any credit card from this account credit card less none and the loan less none now go to the admin again and check the newly added account here so if i go here account list i can see the fourth new account over there the account number is this and this is the balance and the status is open now let's add one credit card for this newly added account so this account i am going to add a credit card i suppose limit at fifty thousand and issue date uh, i am going to give it today's date so let's it's 2023 and the current month is March no, it's April so today is the first April and I'm going to give it a credit card number expiry or uh, expiry month I suppose March expiry year this is 30 CDD and save okay it should be 12 is it so 4 8 okay so I hit the save now the credit card is added successfully if I view if now I view this user account and check my credit card will be displayed here and I can spend some amount like credit card enter the amount let's suppose I'm going to write 500 from it so credit card payment done successfully now if i check the credit card list you can see uh, these are my detail of the credit card and here is the current availability the limit was 50000 but we have just spent 500 so it's showing 49500 over there so um, similarly we can manage the loan section so from admin let's add some loan for this user so for this account i'm going to enter the loan name let's suppose home loan and um, the amount is suppose 20 lakh the rate let's suppose 10 or 9.9 percent okay 10 or let's suppose 20 year i hit the save okay just enter 9 like this and you can see when i save the data uh, and showing me the complete simple interest monthly emi and all the details and now if I check the loan list, I can see the newly added loan for this user and here's the remaining payment, monthly payment, all the details are available there from the admin side. Also, if now I view the user's account, I can check all the details here. When I hit the pay button, I can pay my monthly amount or in case I want to pay any other amount, so I can pay that amount as well. So, suppose I want to pay 20,000, pay loan insufficient balance in my account because uh, if i view the accounts i have only 4500 rupees so let's add some balance and then add so deposit the money from this account i want to add 50000 okay deposit now my balance is 54500 now i can pay my emi and i enter let's suppose i want to enter 25000 over the way and pay loan now paid successfully now it's not showing any error okay so the remaining amount the things are already calculated automatically over there so 
it's academic project and you can't use for the real time use you can uh, show it in your interview or college or somewhere you want and it will run at your local machine and in case you need the source code you can ping us over the whatsapp skype and uh, email so we will get back to you and it's a paid project so don't worry about the support uh, from us so we will provide the complete support it will we will help you to run this application at your machine and it will work MSO in the uh, in this demo and it's a kind of banking loan and uh, credit card application and spring boot and have an jpa thank you